Hi friends. Today I'm going to play the hymn, The Love of God. Frederick M. Lehman was a California businessman who lost everything through business reverses. He was forced to spend his working hours in manual labor, working in a Pasadena packing house, packing oranges and lemons into wooden crates. Not an ideal environment for writing love songs, but this was the environment the Lord chose to use. Mr. Lehman was a Christian who rejoiced in his salvation. He was so moved by a Sunday evening sermon on the love of God that he could hardly sleep. The next morning, the thrill of the previous evening had not left him. As he drove to the packing house, the makings of a song began to come together in his head with God's love as the theme. Throughout the day, as he packed oranges and lemons, the words continued to flow. Perhaps he jotted down words on various pieces of broken crate as he went along. He could hardly wait to get home and commit these words to paper. Upon arriving home, he hurried to his old upright piano and began arranging the words and composing a melody to fit them. He soon had finished two stanzas and the melody to go along with them. But in those days, a song had to have at least three stanzas to be considered complete. He tried and tried to come up with a third stanza, but to no avail. The words just would not fall into place. It was then that he remembered a poem someone had given him some time before. Hunting around, he found the poem printed on a card which he had used as a bookmark. As Mr. Lehman read the words, his heart was thrilled by the picture of God's love they created. He then noticed this writing on the bottom of the card. These words were found written on a cell wall in a prison some 200 years ago. It is not known why the prisoner was incarcerated. Neither is it known if the words were original or if he had heard them somewhere and had decided to put them in a place where he could be reminded of the greatness of God's love. Whatever the circumstances, he wrote them on the wall of his prison cell. In due time, he died, and the men who had the job of repainting his cell were impressed by the words. Before their paintbrushes had obliterated them, one of the men jotted them down, and thus they were preserved. Layman went to the piano and began to voice the words with the melody he had just written, and miraculously, they were a perfect fit. The song was published and remains today with these words as the last stanza. In later years, the origin of these words became known to Alfred B. Smith, which reveals an even greater miracle in the writing of this song. The original third stanza was written in Hebrew around the year 1000 by Meyer Ben Isaac Nehoria, a Jewish rabbi. The third stanza reads, Could we with ink the ocean fill, and were the skies of parchment made, were every stalk on earth a quill, and every man a scribe by trade? To write the love of God above would drain the ocean dry, nor could the scroll contain the whole, though stretched from sky to sky. O love of God, how rich and pure, how measureless and strong, it shall forevermore endure the saints and angels' song. Have a good week.